My ambition is for PDP to be united. If you have a united party, then you are sure of victory. What does it profit you that you want to be a president and you have a presidential ticket of a party and the party cannot win the election? Does it make sense? So it's even really better that you're not even a presidential candidate, but the party wins the election. So for me, the unity of the party is paramount. It's not going about you want to be president, don't be president. For me, it is how the party be united and fight this evil, this monster they call the All Progressive uh, 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 Congress. So, but why I came here, I have nothing to do with that. What I've come here is to see one of our leaders who just came back and whom God, in special grace, has given the health so as to be able to lead the party in this state as against 2023, and encourage him to continue doing what he's doing. Because it's surprising for me as an opposition party, the number of councillors they have in the last local government election, the number of uh, council chairmen they have, it has never happened. So you need to encourage them to also let them know that we know what they are facing, and they have support from us. And that is why I came here. But about the issue of presidents of, um, uh, of Nigeria, about PDP, the party will meet at the appropriate uh, time and take a decision. It's not a one-man decision. Whether whether he's ready to west, east, north, and east, what is important is who will have the capacity to challenge this party and move Nigeria forward because Nigeria is bleeding. Nigeria is waiting for us. And we must bring somebody who has what it takes to move Nigeria from where we are to what every Nigerian expects. It is, it is. It's not about only, I'm not the only one who has what it takes. We have a lot of pretty people who have what it takes. So, but at the appropriate time, we'll sit down and look at it your, your, and move forward. Your Excellency, the, the former governor, distinguished the democracy, actually identified you as being very material for the unity of the party, getting it out of those who are wanting to hijack it. Yes. Are, are you still going to play that role by mobilizing others? That is what I have always done. For me, I have no other place other than PDP. If anything, anybody's doing anything that I think will affect the party, you see me come out. And when I come out, people think that you have some special uh, interest. The special interest I have is that this party should not be killed. When he was the caretaker committee chairman, and with the vigor and passion he put in, and somebody wanted to destabilize our party, he saw the way we came out, not only me, with some of my colleagues, and also now, who are supporting the national chairman, and that's why we are saying anything that can be done should be done to make sure we we'll give them the needed uh, uh, support to move the party uh, uh, forward. Only one man cannot solve this problem. Only one man cannot. You need the support of everybody, former governors, former ministers, uh, uh, present governors, ambassadors, legislators. It is important that we must work together. But not, I want to be president, I want to be president. No, 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 no. Time will come. PDP will look at those who are qualified. We are not going to look at it based on the fact that you are from north or south alone. We are not going to look at it, even if it is on to the south. Who are these people that we can present, that can lead this party to victory in 2023? The same thing. If it is on to the north, we will also sit down and look at people who have the capacity, who have the interest of the party. Not when we work for this, the people will disappear. No. We want people who will stay here, fight with the party, and make sure at the end of the day, 2023, victory is PDP. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes.